Last episode, I repaired the tarp, finished the ceiling and the floor. This time, I will be working on repairing the leaks in the roof. You won't want to miss this exciting episode, so stay tuned. Well, here's how this is coming along. Now, what happened here was um, the previous owners apparently put on uh, house roof coating instead of RV roof coating, and uh, I. The reason I can tell is I can't, but that's what the RV place said. The guy there said I'd have to take a wire brush and at least rough up the old stuff. But when I do that, it basically takes it all off. Now what works at least as well, maybe better, is to take a heat gun and a multi-tool and just scrape it up, which is what I've been doing here. So I don't know, it seems to be about the same. I'll use the wire brush for a while, and then when it gets hot, the uh, grinder gets hot, and I'll, then I'll use this method for a while until my wrist gets sore, and i kind of been trading back and forth. Um, using the heat gun and the scraper is easier cleanup, because that wire brush throws debris all over the place. But the end result's about the same. Strips it pretty much down to bare metal. You can see there's a little paint stuff left, but it should prepare the surface fine for the new roof coating. So I'm almost done with this little section here. Back here, you can see. I haven't done that yet, but it's pretty, pretty messy with the debris from the wire brush. So here's where this is at. I stripped the old roof cutting off, which according to the RV place was for a mobile home, not an RV. And it kind of peeled right off. They told me to rough it up, but it wasn't possible. It just started peeling off. So that was a big pain in the ass. And now I know some people will say this wrong and some people will say it's right because I've heard to do it both ways, but they told me to tape the holes and uh, the guy said, ah, oh, you can just leave it at that. Well, no, I don't want to just leave it at that. I'm going to put RV roof coating over this. So I know some people are going to say it's not going to work. Uh, you know, find out. Watch this channel. I'll let you know. Uh, but they said this is okay to do this. It's okay to cover this up. And, uh, you know, whether it is or not, I'll find out. So the next step now is uh, RV roof coating. This is the stuff I'm using. Um, is this the best, the worst? Somewhere in between, I have no idea. This is what they sent me. So if you think I'm doing this wrong, you think this is the wrong stuff, or, you know, whatever, please leave a comment. Um, I don't mind. And certainly the people watching this would like to know if I'm doing something wrong, because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just doing this. So feel free to leave a comment if you think I'm doing it right, or I'm doing it wrong, or whatever. Well, you can see it's about uh, two-thirds done. And that's two cans worth. I uh, may need a fourth can. I'm not sure. It's going to be pretty close. I've been putting it down with this roller. And then I've been using that uh, putty knife. It's just a plastic throwaway to scrape out the stuff. The stuff is very sticky. It's like molasses. And a lot would be wasted in the can if I didn't scrape it out with that. And then I'm also using the putty knife to apply it in the in the corners where I can't get with the roller. And I don't know, it may be actually easier to use a putty knife to put the whole thing down. I'm not sure. It's The stuff is so sticky, it's kind of difficult to roll around. But you can see the before and after there. And uh, that stuff dries. It's just like a big sheet of rubber. And so I'm hoping this will take care of it. We'll find out soon enough. And then I, I got this using this compressed air to just spray the dust off. I'll show you when it's all done and uh, we'll go from there. And here's what it looks like when it's all dry. Kind of made of rough finish. 
I guess because of my roller. I don't know. If you want a smooth finish, I don't know. This one didn't. It looks pretty watertight to me. I didn't have, like it's kind of the end of the season. So I'm not going to test it until summer when it's hot and if anything leaks, you know, it'll have time to dry out. But I think it's probably good now. Just not going to take the chance. So I'm going to leave it under the tarp building for now. But, yeah. Well, hey, thanks for watching. And next time we'll be back to the school bus. Check you later. Thank you.